Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this procedure safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you begin the washer installation, refer to the installation manual for a list of recommended tools and parts you may need. For proper installation, a water heater set to 120 degrees Fahrenheit will be required. A grounded electrical outlet will need to be located within 6 feet of the power cord on the back of the washer. The electrical supply for the appliance must be 120 volts at 60 hertz. A dedicated circuit is recommended. Hot and cold water faucets should be located within 4 feet of the water fill valves on the back of the washer. Water pressure between 20 and 100 pounds per square inch is required. The rear of the appliance should be positioned no closer than 4 to 5 inches from the wall. If installing the washer in a cabinet or closet, allow for at least one inch of space on the sides and top of the appliance. There should be enough space to allow the door to fully open. If a closet door is used, the door should be louvered or space left at the top and bottom of the door to ensure adequate airflow. The drain system can be installed using a floor drain, wall or floor standpipe, or a laundry tub. The top of the standpipe or laundry tub should be at least 30 inches from the floor, but no higher than 96 inches from the bottom of the washer. The appliance must be in a fully upright position for installation. To avoid floor damage, set the washer on a piece of cardboard before moving it. Use a half-inch wrench or socket to loosen the four transport bolts, securing the tub at the rear of the washer. Slide each bolt and spacer to the center of the opening and remove. Insert the plugs to cover the transport bolt and spacer holes. Pull the power cord through the opening in the rear panel and use the attached cap to close the hole. Remove the yellow shipping strap from the cord and place the cord over the top of the appliance. Do not plug it in at this time. Now move the washer near its final location. If applicable, center the clamp between the ribs on the elbow end of the drain hose. Attach the hose to the drain port and secure it with the clamp. When using a floor drain, the drain hose form will need to be removed. Otherwise, place the form and hose over the side of the laundry tub or into the standpipe. To avoid siphoning, no more than four and a half inches of the drain hose should be inserted into the standpipe. The hot and cold water inlet hoses should have new flat washers inserted into both ends. Thread the hoses onto the water faucet ports by hand until snug. Use pliers to tighten the couplings an additional two-thirds turn, but avoid over-tightening. Now run water through the hoses for a few seconds to clear the lines. Thread the hose connected to the hot water faucet onto the hot water inlet valve. Use pliers to tighten the coupling an additional two-thirds turn. Repeat to connect the hose to the cold water inlet valve. With the hoses secured, slowly open both faucets and check for leaks. To reduce the risk of hose failure, we recommend replacing the hoses every five years. Use a cable tie to secure the drain hose to the laundry tub leg 
the standpipe, or, if applicable, to the inlet hoses. Remove the cardboard from underneath the washer. Next, determine if the washer is level from side to side and front to back. If the washer is not level, support the appliance with a wood block and use a 9 16 inch wrench or an adjustable wrench to loosen one or more of the leveling leg jam nuts. Rotate the leveling leg or legs clockwise to lower the washer or counterclockwise to raise the washer. Confirm that the appliance is level and all four feet are firmly in contact with the floor. Then tighten the jam nuts to secure the legs. Plug the power cord into the electrical outlet and confirm that the hot and cold water faucets are open. If applicable, fully position the appliance in the cabinet or closet and the washer should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.